There, Squiggles. Where are you off to? Oh, a Christmas party with your family. And what do you have there? A Christmas present. How lovely. Do you know the story of the first Christmas present? It's a wonderful story. It begins a long time ago in the desert. Now, I know a desert doesn't seem very Christmassy, but this is where the story really starts. Many, many years before the first Christmas present would even arrive, in a little town called Bethlehem. Oh, and here comes Micah. And here's Micah. Wonderful. Squiggles? Do you know who Micah is? He was a prophet. That means he spoke to people for God. God sent him to the people of Bethlehem with some unbelievable news. My word, Micah is faster than he looks. You better hurry, Squiggles, if you want to hear that special news. Ah, uh, here we are, the charming little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> However, God's people were not having a good time in Bethlehem. <gasps> they were hopeless, sad, <laughs> and afraid. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a very fun place, does it? These people could really use some good news. Fortunately, Micah had some very good news from God. And here comes that good news now. Oh, <laughs> false alarm. It was just a sneeze. Be careful, Squiggles. Bethlehem may be a small town, but it is a busy one. <laughs> There you are. Oh, oh my. Squiggles? Are you all right? Oh, okay, good. Now let's go find Micah so we can hear his good news. Oh dear, where is Micah? He's gone. We have to find him. is? Let's hurry, Squiggles. Micah is already starting to tell everyone God's good news. We made it! And just in time, Micah told God's people, From you, little Bethlehem, will come a wonderful leader for the whole world. He will be like a good shepherd who loves and takes care of each sheep in his flock. He will take care of all people, especially those who need extra help. All God's people will be safe with this leader because he will lead with peace and fairness. He will be the greatest leader the world has ever seen. There is hope. Live in hope. 
What amazing news! Aren't you excited to meet this new leader, Squiggles? <coughs> well, we will. But first, let's meet this leader's mother and father. Their story begins many years later. <coughs> this is Mary. Mary was a young woman who lived in a town called Nazareth. She was engaged to be married to Joseph here. <laughs> oh, aren't they a lovely couple? <laughs> One day, an angel appeared in front of Mary. <gasps> Hello, Mary, the angel said. God is with you. <gasps> At first, Mary was scared. Don't be afraid, the angel said. What are you doing down here, Squiggles? Did you know there's an angel up there? Don't you want to see a messenger of God? Well, you'd better hurry. The angel then said to Mary, God sent me to tell you that you are going to have a son who you'll name Jesus. He is going to be very important to many people. A son? asked Mary. But I'm not married yet. How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come to you, the angel replied. Your son will be the son of God. What's keeping you, Squiggles? The angel is telling Mary some amazing things. The son of God, Mary thought. My son? It didn't seem possible. But Mary believed anything was possible for God. I am God's servant, Mary said. I'll do whatever God says. But her mind was racing. What would Joseph think? Would he believe her? Mary was nervous. Squiggles, you missed all the excitement. Did you hear what the angel said? Oh, good. Now, how do you think Mary is going to tell Joseph the very surprising news? Well, when Mary told Joseph about the angel and about giving birth to God's son, he didn't believe her. He talked about not marrying her anymore. <laughs> oh, this story doesn't seem to be going very well, does it? Mary felt so sad, but she remembered what the angel said, and she trusted God. <sighs> the very next day, something wonderful happened. Joseph came to Mary and said, An angel came to me in a dream. The angel told me, Don't be afraid to make Mary your wife. She is going to have a son, and you're going to name him Jesus. He's going to save people from their sins. Mary was so happy that tears of joy filled her eyes. I'm not scared for you to be my wife, Mary, Joseph said. I will be with you, and we will name the boy Jesus. Mary felt Joseph's love once again. Oh, they really do make a lovely couple. Well, I certainly am glad things worked out with Mary and Joseph. You know who else would be glad? That's right, Squiggles. Mary's cousin, Elizabeth. And it looks like Mary is on her way to tell Elizabeth her exciting news right now. Oh, you'd like Elizabeth. You should meet her. Ah! Hello, Elizabeth, Mary called when she arrived at the house. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love a nice family reunion? Oh, careful, Squiggles. That bread is piping hot. It's fresh out of the oven. Without even asking, Elizabeth knew what Mary wanted to tell her. She was pregnant. Mary, God has blessed you more than any other woman, said Elizabeth. 
and God has blessed the baby you will have. How did Elizabeth know that Mary was going to have a baby, Squiggles? As soon as you said hello to me, my own baby wiggled with happiness inside of me, Elizabeth explained. Did you hear that, Squiggles? Elizabeth is also going to have a baby. Well, this is doubly exciting news. I'm excited, you're excited, Mary's excited, Elizabeth's excited, even that cat is excited. What's that, Squiggles? Oh, it's the cat's ball of yarn. Oh, it looks like she wants to play. Oh, what fun. Elizabeth told Mary, Mary, you have been blessed because you believe God keeps promises. Hmm. What promises do you think she's talking about? Mary was so full of joy that her words sounded like a beautiful song. I praise God. God has chosen me, a simple servant. God has done something wonderful for me, and God's name is holy. God has given the people of Israel hope by keeping God's promises. Squiggles, I know you're having fun, but this is important. We know one of God's promises. We learned about it from Micah. You remember the prophet Micah, don't you, Squiggles? The prophet Micah told God's people that God would send them a great leader. God's keeping that promise now with Mary's baby. Mary's baby is going to be the Messiah. Now that is triply exciting, isn't it, Squiggles? Mm -hmm. And it's also unbelievably exciting to think that Elizabeth's baby will also be special. Oh! She gave birth to a baby boy named John. He would grow up to be John the Baptist, who prepared the way for Jesus. But that's a story for another time. Now, in those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. We have to go to Bethlehem, Joseph told Mary. Emperor Augustus has ordered that all of the people need to be counted. But Joseph, Mary said, what about our baby? He will be born soon. We'll go slowly, Mary, said Joseph. Oh, there you are, Squiggles. You're right, Squiggles. That is a very long way to go, especially for a woman who's about to have a baby. Perhaps you'd better go along with them. Do be careful, Squiggles. It's an awfully long way down. Bethlehem will be crowded, so we need to leave right away, Joseph said, and off they went. So Mary and Joseph journeyed to Bethlehem, the city of David, to be counted along with all of the other people. Joseph knocked on many doors looking for a room. But everyone said no. You're right, Squiggles. It is getting late. Joseph and Mary were running out of doors. They'd found one last place they could try, but the innkeeper there said, I have no room. However, you can stay in a little stable in the back. It's warm and the hay is fresh. At last, they found a place to stay the night. And not a moment too soon. <gasps> because it was time for the baby to be born. That night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She laid him in a manger. The animals kept them warm as they waited for morning. Goodness, that chicken seems to have taken an interest in you, Squiggles. Uh, Squiggles? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
That was a close one, Squiggles. Outside of Bethlehem, shepherds watched their sheep on the hills. Suddenly, an angel appeared. The shepherds looked up at the bright night sky. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I bring wonderful news. The child God promised, the Messiah, was born tonight. Yes, Squiggles, that is an angel, a messenger of God. Quite an amazing sight, isn't it? The shepherds listened in amazement as the angel continued. Go to Bethlehem. You will find the child lying in a bed of hay. Suddenly, many angels filled the heavens. They sang together, glory to God in the highest and peace to all people on earth. Let's hurry. One shepherd said, the angel said the child was born tonight. Come to think of it, Squiggles, the angel didn't say which stable the baby was born in. They could be searching all night. Unless someone helps them, that is. Angel was right. The shepherds found the baby Jesus asleep on a bed of hay. They told Mary and Joseph all the angel had said. The baby is the Messiah, the promised one. He is the one we have waited for, they explained. But this is a stable, Squiggles. Would God really be born here among the animals? Mary smiled. She knew that Jesus was Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Quite the lovely scene, isn't it, Squiggles? <sighs> and you've made a friend! How nice! bright star has appeared in the sky. Do you think it has something to do with that special baby? Well, in a land far away from Bethlehem, there were some wise men who were extremely interested in that star. The wise men had been waiting for someone very important to come into the world. The star is a sign from God that the king has been born, said one of the wise men. We should follow the star and find him, said another. My, they're certainly excited to meet this new baby king. Now, do you suppose that our baby Jesus and their baby king are the same special child? Well, there's only one way to find out. Have you ever ridden a camel? Isn't this exciting, Squiggles? We're off on another adventure. And it looks like it's going to be a very long trip. A very very long trip. Now, who's this? Could he be the new king the wise men are looking for? No, this is King Herod. He's a grown-up king. And I must say, not a very nice king. Along the way, the wise men stopped and visited King Herod, who ruled that land. We are following the star to find the baby king, so we may worship him and give him gifts they told King Herod. Do you know where he is? When King Herod heard that a new baby king had been born, he was afraid. <laughs> he thought the baby would grow up and take over. Then Herod wouldn't be the king anymore. So, King Herod pretended to be nice. <laughs> Herod told the wise men, I would like to meet the new baby king. Why don't you go find him and come back here and tell me where he is? Then I can go worship him too. Hmm. Yeah! I 
don't know about you, Squiggles, but I don't trust that King Herod. <laughs> But did you hear what the wise men said? They're going to worship this new king and give him presents. <laughs> oh, that will be so much fun. Mm -hmm. But we still have a long way to go. <sighs> the wise men kept following the star to find the baby until they finally found where it was leading them. to a house in Bethlehem. Hmm, it doesn't look much like the home of a king, but they say this is the place. And you know what that means, Squiggles. It's time for presents. I wonder what they brought. Why, yes, Squiggles, that is myrrh, a very precious oil. How nice. And wonderful smelling frankincense. And the last present is gold. Oh, careful, Squiggles. You're losing some of the king's gold. You'd better hurry. It looks like the wise men are heading inside. Oh, dear. You're right. If you don't find your way in, the king won't get all of his presents. Oh, look, an open window. Now you just need to get up there. Now, Squiggles, are you sure this will work? Done! The presents are all ready, just in time to give to the new king. Wait a minute. We know those happy parents. It's Mary and Joseph. So that would mean that the baby king is Jesus. So Jesus is not only going to be a great leader, like Micah said, he's also a king. Well, these gifts certainly are fit for a king. The wise men decided it was time to go. They were planning to tell King Herod where they found baby Jesus. Oh, don't worry, Squiggles. God sends an angel to talk to them in a dream. The angel tells them that King Herod is dangerous, so they'll go home a different way instead. Jesus was indeed a new baby king. He was God's promise born for us a gift to all people. So there you have it, Squiggles. You see, Jesus was the very first Christmas present. He was a gift to his parents and a gift to all of us. His life and message of love, peace, and hope is a gift to the entire world. Quite a special present, don't you think? Now you'd best run along to your family's Christmas party. Oh, and a Merry Christmas to you too, Squiggles. The first Noel the angels did say Was to certain poor shepherds in fields where they lay In fields where they lay keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night that was so deep Noel, Noel 